boys and girls, let's take a look at what things begin with the letter Y. First of all, I have our letter Y. Remember, there's two ways to write that capital Y. When we write our capital Y, we do a big little line down and a big line straight down, just like our lowercase y, except it starts at the top. This is another way that we can write the letter y, or we can read the letter y. Here comes our lowercase letter, lowercase y, little line down, big line down to make that letter y. Let's see what things start with the y, y sound. I have a yo-yo, has a string, and it can yo-yo up and down, rolling off of the string, down and back up, a yo-yo. I also have a container of yogurt. You can see the word yogurt on my container. I have a ball, and that ball is the color of yellow, yeah, yeah, yellow. I also have a sign. My sign has a letter Y word on it that says yield. Does anybody know what the word yield means? The word yield means to slow down. Don't go too fast, slow down and look both ways. I also have a yak. I have a little animal that is a yak. And the last thing I have is a piece of yarn for us to use in our story. Remember, our story needs to have a character. Oh, I almost forgot. I need you to put your hands in the air. Hands on your knees. It's story time. Now, our story needs a character. What is the character this week? That's right, our character is going to be a yak. He's going to be the character. Our story also has to have a setting. What does the setting tell us? The setting tells us when and where. Good remembering. Where would our yak be today? Our yak is going to be at the farm. And when is our story going to happen? Our story is going to happen, okay, it could happen in the morning. So one sunny morning, Yak decided he was going to go to the grocery store. Let me get a few things. We'll set the grocery store up. He decided he was going to take a walk to the grocery store. So he heads to the store. And he's running really, really fast, and he gets to a yield sign. What does that yield sign mean? That's right. It means slow down, Yak, and look both ways. So he looks both ways. Nothing's coming, so he goes ahead and goes to the grocery store. He walks through the grocery store and decides he's going to buy some yogurt that he can take home for breakfast. So he buys that yogurt. He pays the cashier and he takes it back home. Oh, that's right, he needs to yield again because that sign is still there. So he slows down, he looks both ways, and then he heads home. When he gets home, he decides he's going to eat his yogurt and then he's going to go outside and play. What kinds of things do you remember that he had that we could play with? Oh, he could. He could play with this yellow ball. He could kick that ball around all around his yard. That's something you guys can do today. You can go outside and kick a ball all around your yard. What else did we have that he could play with? That's right, we have a yo-yo. So you could use a yo-yo today, or if you don't have one, you could try making one, and you could go outside and play with the yo-yo. We also had a piece of yarn. He's going to lay that piece of yarn out and he's going to use it like a balance beam and he's going to walk on that piece of yarn all the way down to the end. And that, my friends, is the end of our story for today. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.